it's surrounded by 33 volcanoes, four of which are active. There's a ton of history here. The city's on a grid system, and we're exploring this historic town, and it's gorgeous. I definitely think you should come and visit. Antigua was once the capital of the country of Guatemala. In 1524, it was originally founded as Santo de Guatemala. This area is prone to natural disasters including floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and avalanches. As the town was destroyed multiple times, the authorities decided to move the capital to Guatemala City. At this time, the city adapted the name it now holds, La Antigua Guatemala. When decoding the flag of Guatemala, we see that there is a blue block, followed by a white block, and then another blue block on the flag. This signifies the Atlantic Ocean, which hugs Guatemala on one side, and the Pacific Ocean, which hugs Guatemala on the other side. The city of Antigua is one of the best examples of Latin American town planning. Straight lines established by the grid of north and south and east and west streets make it easy to navigate this city. Each neighborhood has its own temple, square, and hospital. Antigua, Guatemala transports you in time. You feel that you are living in history. Among many of the historical buildings is the Palace of the Captains General, the Casas de la Mondita, the Cathedral, Universidad de San Carlos, Las Cupuchina, La Mercedad, Santa Clara, and many other noteworthy sites. The uneven cobblestone streets are endearing, though you should be aware that while watching your step, bay windows are jetting out into the street and you do not want to walk into one of these steel exterior ornamentations that add character to this beautiful place. Abandoned until the mid-1800s, coffee and grain brought new investors into the region. The rich volcanic soil yields some of the best coffee in the world, rich in earthy tones and fruit notes. It's so well balanced that no cream or sugar is needed. You can drink this coffee black just as it is. Perfection.